Hi, my name is Ken Grimman. I'm a lifestyle and business strategy coach. And what I want to talk today is I want to talk today about capture pages, creating pages on the internet that will help you generate leads for your business. I've been focusing a lot on my training uh, on, lately on my on targeting, you know, helping you identify who your ideal target is. I've been helping you uh, get connected with who your ideal business partner or who your ideal customers are by creating customer avatars. And now I would, you kind of want to get you warmed up to talking about your message to market. What's your uh, getting your message to market match to, to match with whatever your market you're promoting to, and then also be able to talk about your lead magnets and talk about your hook and talk basically about what the components are to be successful in building a, a lead capture page on the internet. After having a discussion with a couple of my, with, with my, with my sponsor and Empower Network and a friend of mine and talking with another person I, I was helping yesterday with his branding, uh, I kind of recognized that not everybody's as big of a computer geek as I am. And what I was trying to shoot for is I was trying to shoot for a simple solution to help you create capture pages for your business and whatever that business is. And when I add up all the additional costs of my little geeky solution, it costs more than the actual monthly fee or the yearly fee for leadpages.net. So what I'm gonna show you today is I'm gonna show you how to use leadpages.net to create capture pages for your business. And what's cool about leadpages.net is that it's a hosted solution that already has the content delivery network and all the, the speed that you need already built in. And you, with leadpages.net, you have the ability to host the pages on their site, to be able to host the pages and, and connect them into your WordPress blog, or export them as HTML and host them on your site as well. Well, that really gives you the opportunity for those last two options is the WordPress option and, it gives, and the uh, and the HTML option is it gives you an opportunity to really tie the capture pages into your brand. And that's very, very important from a branding perspective. What I also love about Lead Pages is that Lead Pages has all these templates available for you to create, and it takes literally no more than maybe two minutes to create a capture page. And I'm going to show you how that's done today. I'm also going to talk about how there are some components to your capture pages that will help you increase your opt-ins. Um, in addition to your message to market, there's, you know, there's just some language and stuff that you want to be able to use on your capture pages. And what you're going to kind of be fortunate enough is that I'm going to show you how to create the capture pages this uh, today, and then I'm going to start sending traffic to them this week to start showing you which ones are going to start converting and show you what, what the adjustments are. So you're, going to be, you're basically going to get a step-by-step -step approach to knowing how to create your capture pages to get the best results possible because you when you're sending traffic to your capture pages you want to get the most number of opt-ins possible for the money that you're spending you know the typical industry average for capture pages is about 25 percent and before this course i'm taking which is the internet traffic formula my capture page the last capture page i created was at a 40 percent opt-in so my goal which i mentioned before is to get my my opt-ins to be at least 60 percent because that means for if I'm going to spend $100, if I'm going to get 100 clicks, I'm going to get 60 leads. And that's very, very important. Right now, we're really going to be focusing on the opt-in pages, and we're going to be focusing on the thank you pages for this particular exercise. And I'm going to show you some examples of, of what I'm doing to be able to attract a specific market using my capture pages. My, my market is going to be males over the age of 40 who are professionals. Um, that are either engineers, computer programmers, uh, chiropractors, doctors, professionals in, in that particular uh, area because they're like me. They're, they're eggheads, they're technical, and they're looking for a way to earn extra income. They're looking for a way to break free, to be able to embrace their passion and live a life of, of, of freedom and financial freedom and create their own economic recovery. So let's get started. There's some really cool things with lead pages um, you're gonna go the templates are here which you're seeing the templates now you click here to the where it says lead pages it's gonna show you the lead pages and then here's a, a, a cool feature which you get access to is you can create what's called a lead box well what's a lead box Ken a lead box allows you which I'm going to show you how to do this just quickly 
to put a link in your signature that allows you to send, allows you to come up to a page to opt into your list. So I could say, okay, this is kind of cool. I'm going to go to my one of my lists, which would be, let's say, the Prosperity Partners list. And I'm going to come in here and I'll say, enter your email address to reserve, blah. Or enter your email address to, and you're going to go over here, to get your free video. to learn how to earn up to $15,000 a month. It's free. Right? Simple thing. I click on OK. I click on Save. And I say Coach, Coach Ken German lead box. And I save it. In integration opt-in settings menu. Anyway, we'll get back to that. Customize this form, which we've done, blah, 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 blah. I didn't rehearse this, which I probably should have done, but hey. The idea is you're going to have the ability to completely customize this and the ability to put it into your email signature. You want, to have, you want to have the email requ required. And we're going to click on save. And then I'm going to say www work with Ken German com slash thank you. And it wants me to enter the HTTP. And now what you can do is you can take this code here and put it into your email signature. And then what will happen is that when somebody clicks on that link, they'll be able to get on your they'll be able to opt into your box. It's another way to get your, your name out there, another way to get people to connect to you, another way to, to build your, your list. So now that we're done with this, we saved it, we're gonna go back out here. That's the lead pages part. You can actually create multiple lead pages with different lead magnets to get people to opt in from their, their email signature. The lead links, I don't have access to that. So let's get back to the templates for lead pages. Now, you can create sales pages. You can create webinar pages, thank you pages, upsell pages, launch pages, pre-cart pages, tons and tons of pages here. It's all part of your subscription. Clay and his team are also always constantly adding new templates to Hero and they're testing them already. So they're going to tell you which ones are the best converting. When you go to the actual list here, I think it's when you go to templates, you can click here and say sort by conversion rate. Which ones are converting the best? So you know, there's no, there's no guesswork. This is the one that they're currently seeing right now that's converting at, 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 at a higher rate than the other ones. You go to opt-in pages, they'll tell you which ones are converting as well. Sort by conversion rate. Now, the one of my favorites that I use a lot, and I'm going to start using more and more, is I like simple. I like simple because simple just gives them the message, it, 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 it sends them an image, and it, and, and it gets them curious about what you're having to offer. Too, if you get too wordy, it, it's just, it doesn't work as well. I mean, because a lot of people don't read that stuff. I mean, that's just one of the things you run into. I'm just running through some of the templates. This is a very good one. Um, this centers the opt-in box on the center of the, of the screen. So let's go in here. We're going to select this particular one. Yes, count me in. Now, this is all completely customizable 
within lead pages. And we're going to run through that. Now, I, I use GetResponse. I've tried Aweber. I've tried SendPepper. I've tried Eye Contact. I've tried Constant Contact. For marketers, what's the, the best the best autoresponder currently, in my opinion, and, and I really don't like MailChimp because that's just the whole mindset thing. People try to get things for free, and that's just a mindset thing for me with, with people, the reason they get MailChimp. I use GetResponse, and what we're going to do is we're just going to show you how to just set up a simple capture page using lead pages. And we're also going to show you some of the elements to help you get the opt-in rate to a little bit higher than the 25% standard. Now it's very, very important when you're going through this exercise that you're considering who your target market is that you're going to be capturing, uh, uh, who, who your target market is. You don't want to be like every other marketer out there and trying to go and use the same the same old song for people to to try and attract people because they're just you're going to run into a, a case of what we call banner blindness or, or landing page blindness. Now I use the same thank you page for all my capture pages because I'm using right now I'm using the same list and I don't ask them for their first name because if you ask them for their first name it's going to reduce your opt-in rate. If you ask them for my internet's a little slow today for some reason you want to ask for and here's just a couple tips I've picked up on enter your best email You've seen it earlier. I'm not sure why it's being slow, but you, you, you pick, with GetResponse, it's you, you, you set it up to do it with your autoresponder. It integrates with your autoresponder, so you can just just select the list, and then what you're doing here is you're collect you're 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 creating your you're creating your actual uh, web form within lead pages. That's what, that's when you're creating these capture pages. If you wanted to turn on the first name, you could. It would let you do that. I don't recommend doing that just because you're going to reduce your opt-in rate, and your goal is to get your opt-in rate as high as possible. This is kind of embarrassing. Not nearly as embarrassing as what happened to my boss years ago, but so opt-in form integration. It's still not playing nice for some reason, so we're gonna cancel on that. We're gonna go here to style settings. You can change all the colors here for the headline, right? Free report reveals. The field borders, that's all customizable. Right for on the field. The button text color is customizable. The button color is customizable. Orange usually converts pretty well. Because my internet's slow right now, this the actual button text here is customizable. You'll have to split test this, and I'm going to be split testing this here um, coming up. But I believe that. If you can record your free, instead of giving them a free report, if you record it as an audio, you're going to get more people to listen to it. Because they can they can download it to their phone or they can listen to it when it's more convenient to them and they don't have to be tied to a piece of paper or, be, or, 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 or read it online. My personal preference is to do free audios and free videos because it, I, I believe it's just more engaging. You can put an exit pop-up in there if you want. The exit pop-up is, if they try to leave the page, it'll redirect them to another page. 
another example that, that you can do here that, that, that's really cool. You can change the, the headline here. It says free video reveals. The free video reveals part of this capture page is what we call the, the lead magnet. We're, we're, we're setting a positive expectation for them that when they opt in and give you their contact information, they're going to get something for free and they're going to know what they're going to get. They're going to get a free video that they need to watch or listen to or an audio they're going to listen to that's going to give them some information that's going to help them learn. It's going to be an even value exchange for their email address in order to be able to get them to opt into your list. Free video reveals the three secrets that will, this is just an example, That could be your tagline. And what you can go in here is if you put a dot, dot, dot on the end here, three dots, that's going to help them, help them kind of get more curious. Well, what else is there to say? Is it, is it going to tell me more? The button text. You can play with this. Show me now. Get instant access. You can play with the different uh, actual um, text to, to, to test your conversions. There's a lot of testing that you have to do in order to be able to determine what's going to convert the best for you, what's going to get your best opt-in rate. Legal information, you can put the legal information here if you want to link that in there. You can turn it off. Your information is 100% secure, never will be shared with anybody. You can play with this particular privacy text. You can put that in there. You could try this. You can, another thing was, which I, I've been recommended to me and I'm gonna, uh, is to say, to help increase your actual getting good email addresses because people use junk email addresses. I, you know, that's, I, I don't, I, don't I, I use them myself. But they're gonna give junk email addresses. You don't wanna get their junk email address. You wanna get their best email address. So you could say your free video will be sent to this email address. Right, it's got the little lock there, so you're good to go. So you could play with that a little bit and see what you, how, how that increases your conversions, but I'm just trying to give you some tips here. You wanna make sure that you're being congruent in your and what you're promising people. You don't want to flip off the BS meter and say, well, I just don't, I don't believe that because if it's not believable and it's not credible and you can't speak to it, then, then you're just doing yourself a grave injustice. You're, you're, you're promising something that you can't deliver. When I'm sending people the three secrets that has created more success stories than any, than any system online in the history of marketing, it's true. With Empower Network, you can do that. And then if you want to go in here and set the SEO settings to, to, for the, to SEO optimize the pages, you can do that. So you have, now have an option to really create a really customizable page. So now we, we, have an, a, we have a capture page created within lead pages. And then what we want to look at is, like I said, what's your, what's your market? What market are you trying to appeal to? So what I've done is I've preloaded in some pages some images to test. So, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, what I've done is I've created three different capture pages. I'm gonna rotate the, between those, those capture pages in my CPV Labs link in order to test which, which, what, what's, what the best one is going to convert. When I've done this particular test, which I'll show you, like I said, in a few minutes, actually very soon, is I'm using the same text, same colors for the opt-in box. I'm using the same, I'm, I'm using everything that's identical. The only thing that's changing is the background picture. So the question for you is, is that if I'm using this background picture, who's this going to attract? Who's going to opt into that picture? 
Because the picture is going to get people's attention. This picture, in my opinion, is going to attract women. I mean, is going to attract men. Same thing here. This is going to attract a man. Beautiful woman on the beach. This is going to attract men. It may attract women too. I, I, this, this would actually have to be split tested. Because this could actually put, since you're not, it's, it's a relaxing scene on the, on the beach, this could attract women too because a woman could be visualizing that she's on the beach there. So this would have to be tested between men and women as far as demographic. This is more generic. This is just the beach. This could appeal to both men and women. The idea is that the picture that you select for your, your, your page on the background is going to help you with your targeting to, to your ideal your ideal business partner your ideal your ideal client your ideal lead you know who's this going to attract that, that's the whole question so these are things I'll be testing and I'll be able to answer those questions for you very very soon this is just a this could be for both men and women because it's 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 not it's just showing that the beautiful beach and that if you, you could have this lifestyle, you could, you could be that person that owns that house on the beach. Just looking through some of the pictures and you can see the pictures here anyway, but this one here, I'm guessing and I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to show you that one and I'm actually using this one. I'll be using this one this week and this is a sexy hot car. This could have actually appeal to both men and women. I'm guessing it's going to appeal more to men than it is women, but Women can own these cars too, so the idea is, you know, what are you going to do? Well, who's this going to appeal to? So the image that you're using on your capture capture pages is going to be another uh, another way that uh, you can target specific kinds of people. Now I didn't get into which I'm going to be doing here later today. This is actually my this is my dream car, the Audi R8 Spider, or just the Audi R8. I haven't decided which one yet, but I just love the Audi R8 Spider, the Iron Man car. So let's go through, and that, that gives you an idea. I mean, you can you, you can you can go out and you can go. What you do is you go out here out to Google, and you go search for 1440 by 1100 size wallpapers, and that's what you end up uploading into lead pages. Now, since we're looking at this. The black doesn't look very good here, so we're going to want to try and customize that. that we're going to want to go into the style a little bit. We don't really want to modify the button text here, but we're going to want to look at customizing this a little bit better because the black really doesn't match with the color schemes. We want to kind of match the, the, the color schemes a little bit better, um, but this just kind of gives you a general idea of how you can create capture pages. And I want to kind of move on to the next segment of this training is to show you what I'm doing and I'll be launching this week and I'll be sharing with you the, the, the results this week with the capture page campaigns I'm launching that I'm launching myself. What my what I given what my target market is, it's going to be males that are over the age of 40, well, it's actually males over the age of 40 who are engineers who are who are who are technical people so engineers doctors and, and, and people in that in that particular area uh, engineers computer programmers IT consultants people who are like me we'll also be targeting and then some other another campaign we've been targeting some people who are like me who are very spiritual who are very spiritually grounded who have a, a uh, who are able to tag in a purpose but that's again going back to your um, going back to your actual banner that you're going to be using on the back of the page because that's going to that's what you're going to be bam they're going to see that picture go i love that and they're going to get their attention so that's what that picture is going to get their attention of so this this page has already been done but i'm going to kind of go into the back office so they'll go and just show you this so you see it beautiful woman on the beach Free video reveals the secrets to earning up to $15,000 a month in 60 days. 
Now that's kind of bland, but I would just I just put together these examples. I'm gonna test those. I want to be a little bit more clever. I want to be a little bit more sexy about those. But I'm, I'm gonna actually run these as a test just to see how well they convert. There's one other page which I have that um, I'm using another tool which I'll be showing here in a second. That's kind of sexy and cool too. But I just want to kind of focus on lead pages right now. The reason I like this particular style capture page is it does it requires interaction for them to opt in. It's what we call a micro engagement page. So in order for them to enter their email address, they have to click on this button. So that requires interaction. So you're going to get a higher opt-in rates here because you're getting them curious. That they don't know what they're going to get if when they click on that button. So you're getting their curiosity. That the most powerful asset you can get in somebody in your in your business is getting people's attention. That's what all these capture pages are about. You're you're getting their attention. You're, you're putting these pictures out there that are going to get their attention. You know, you're going to be looking at what your target market is. What's the mirror reflection of yourself? What would you be attracted to? And, and you want to be able to put those kind of pictures out there that you'd be attracted to to bring those people to you. So that's the example. Now I went out there and I did the other picture. I like this picture myself of this woman with the with the with the hat on and in the beautiful the beautiful swimming dress the beautiful one the beautiful scene in the background with the beach in the background and just this beautiful woman you don't see her eyes so it kind of keeps you curious and again it's another micro engagement style page where they have to click on the button in order to see the opt in box in order to see whether they get their free bonus or not so those are, that's another, that's another test I'll be running this week. Now I need to tweak the image a little bit because I want to be able to have the more of the car visible. But the, the idea is that you can put this, you can put the car in there, or you can put any picture in there, and people are going to look at that car and they go, "Wow, that's sexy. That's beautiful, right?" So that's that's the whole idea is that you're going to be able to create three capture pages. And you'll notice in each of the capture pages, I'm using the same message. I'm just changing the picture, right? The message in the capture page is the same. It's just the picture that's different. What I'm, I'm doing is I'm creating my own controlled group in my testing. I don't want to make any modifications to the page because I want to. I want to at least set a baseline for. Okay, is it the is it the words is it the wording on here? That's good. and I want to set a baseline for the opt for the opt ins. And when I figure out what which of these three capture pages actually convert the best to get people to opt in? Then I'll start changing the words. I'll start changing the. I'll start changing other components here to start testing. So I'll actually go in here. Which well, the other reason I like lead pages, I can go into lead pages, and let's say for some instance that this blue car converts the best, right? I can go to lead pages. I can say duplicate lead page. That makes it very, very easy for you to go, okay, duplicate lead page, and then you can create a new control group of all your of all the other three lead pages. So I can create three copies of the blue car. And once I've got the three copies of the blue car, then I can go over to my CPV Labs, which is my tracking software that I like. And it timed out on me. And you're going to see that I have this set up here with my capture campaign. And then what's cool about, and I'm like, oh, we'll get into tracking here in another training, is I can tell it, which I'm going to actually be changing this. Anyway, I tell it to rotate between those three landing pages automatically. I set a certain share, 33%, 33%, 34%, 100%, to be able to rotate out between those three landing pages. So when you go to that link, it's going to rotate those landing pages, and that's going to help me test that. That's going to help me test that campaign. So if I go over here and I say test link, it gets me a random lead page to test in my in my capture campaigns. 
So when I go to my traffic providers, I'm going to give them this long link and I'm going to change this keyword to be the traffic provider name. Because that keyword is going to tell me wh where the traffic came from. That's a little bit about CPV Labs. I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, but I just wanted to show you a little bit about how to create capture pages and lead pages and how you can set up the, how you want to be able to create three pages to test because you're not always going to get the results. You, you have to test, 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 test. And that's why I tell people who join my team that when they join my team, I want you to have one done for your traffic campaign that's going to send traffic to your pages. And then you can start off and when iPass 2 comes out, it's going to be brand new, right? Nobody else is going to see a lot of a lot of, of the iPass 2 out there because it'll be brand new. I personally am going to shove a lot of traffic at those pages because it, it's going to convert like crazy. It, it's probably convert like crazy for at least six months because it's a brand new system. It's a brand new lead capture pages and it's going to be all fresh and new and it's going to have all these great other features. They have these other three products in front of it. They're going to be able to literally, um, just, it, it's going to be awesome. So, but I'm also going to be creating my own capture pages because I want to differentiate myself in the marketplace. I want to start building my own brand. I want to start building my own identity. I want to start attracting my own people to my business as well. When you're doing a, like I pass two, or, or you're doing a done for your system, you're going after basically what I call the monkey's paw of, of type of traffic. Monkey, the people are interested in the business opportunity. There are plenty of other people who are interested in the business opportunity. We just have to target them, and there's plenty of people to go around. Plenty of people to earn a hundred thousand dollar a month income, if that's your goal. So that's what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today, as far as using lead pages. Um, what I want to show you, and I'll, I'll talk about this other little tool that I use called uh, Epic Squeeze, and it's a WordPress plugin. And I use Epic Squeeze with uh, with a resp mobile responsive theme because that's one of the other reasons I like about lead pages is all the lead pages are all mobile responsive and that's very very important for your for your marketing for your business you want to have your website be mobile responsive you want your lead capture pages to be mobile responsive because PCs are outselling our mobile devices are outselling PCs five to one now I'm going to touch lightly on the epic squeeze plugin and the reason I'm going to touch lightly on this is because there are two reasons I really like, well, three reasons I like Epic Squeeze. I'm a computer geek, and I can get this page to respond back in less than two seconds anywhere in the globe, and speed matters. Number two, it has a one-time flat fee of $47. And you can pretty much create the same kind of pages within lead pages with it. And I also like that it's I, I, I just it's it's a, it's a WordPress plugin, and it's and it, and it works. And you can put a YouTube video as your background. That's going to get people's attention. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get your uh, people's attention with the capture pages. So hopefully this has been helping you. I'm I'm trying to give you a really great value. Trying to teach you a lot of stuff that I'm learning. Uh, and a, a lot more content I'll be sharing with my team. It'll be available in the back office, and I'll be sharing a lot more re results and stuff that with my team as far as the, the team only trainings. But I want to just give you some value to help you understand that you want to have you want to have a, a you you want to have a system that's going to work. You don't want to be spending a lot of time testing the stuff like I've tested. You know, everybody comes into this business. It's your own journey. It's your own path. You have to learn your lessons. You know, and so when I talk to some people, sometimes I'll say that's a piece of junk. Well. It's a piece of junk to me because I've already tested it and, and they haven't. And they didn't know me at the, before the time that that, that that doesn't work very well. And I'll tell them reasons I don't, I don't like that system. I don't like that, that, that system. I don't like that tool. I like simple, easy to use tools. I like lead pages. I like epicsqueeze.com. The other thing, the reason I like the epicsqueeze.com is it has a, geo, a, a, a geography feature within the tool where I can click on only to accept traffic from certain, certain, certain countries. So it, it'll, it'll identify where the person is coming from. If they're not part of my tier one, uh, when I'm trying to target tier one countries, it will it'll reject it. It'll just say, it'll, it'll, it'll redirect them to a different page. I can also have this epicsqueeze.com 
redirect them to a different page based upon the language. So if I had this page in Spanish that was targeting people who speak Spanish, I could actually have a lead capture page specifically in, in the person's language. We'll be discussing a little bit more in depth here probably this week about the Epic Squeeze plugin. Right now, it really depends upon, if you're not very technical, I would go with lead pages. If you're a little bit technical and you, you already know about WordPress, I would go with, start off with Epic Squeeze, with, with the Epic Squeeze plugin. So my name is Ken German. I'm a lifestyle and business strategy coach, and I'm here to help you be successful, and, and I'm here to help you reach for and achieve your economic freedom. My goal, which I sat down, I'm going to finish the paper, I'm going to finish the class, is to reach $100,000 a month by July 15th of 2015. I mean, by July of 2014. Many, many people who are successful believe in the results before they see them. That's a shift that I have to make. That's a shift that I've been personally having to make, and I've been having. That was one of my struggles. I, I, I kept on saying to myself, you know, I won't believe it until I get my first sale. Well, you're never going to get your first sale unless you believe it's possible. I know a Vic Struess house who's the number one earner in Empower Network can earn seven hundred thousand dollars in one month. I can do a hundred. I can do five. Because I'm willing to work that hard to do it. That's the kind of success, whatever your success is and the, that you want to have in your life, set your big money goal and go for it. I'm here to help support your success. Click on the links below to join my team. If you want to learn more about the opportunity, click on the watch the video link. If you want to get and you need to get iPass 2, because iPass 2 will help you save a lots and lots of money and give you a marketing funnel to promote your business that'll just totally rock your world. Have an awesome day and we will talk to you tomorrow.